This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the Noon Barbados Today update from Monday, November 25th, 2013. I'm Dawn Paris. A strike by Barbados Water Authority workers appears to be on the verge of escalating. The industrial action which began last Thursday continues into this morning and an extraordinary meeting of the Barbados Workers Union Executive Council is being planned to discuss the impasse. Sources close to the union tell Barbados today this could signal stepped up action. A warning that the central bank's printing of large sums of currency to support the country's large deficit will put Barbados' economy in jeopardy. Former Prime Minister Owen Arthur says the central bank printed $370 million to purchase government treasury bills. And he warns that unless this excess printing is checked, Barbados could go the same route as Jamaica and Guyana. The printing of money on this scale to accommodate government's fiscal deficit is the chief factor that has triggered the dramatic plunge downward in the country's foreign exchange reserves. If this plunge downward is not immediately checked, the economic affairs of Barbados will enter new and very dangerous territory. The indulgence of the central bank is therefore a threat to Barbados's monetary, economic, and national stability. Arthur was delivering the inaugural independence lecture of the School of Politics yesterday evening. A new financial structure is being examined in Barbados to help stave off another clico type collapse. Senior central bank officials and other financial experts from in and outside the Caribbean are meeting now behind closed doors at Hilton trying to draft a regional crisis management plan. We'll have more details on that at 6. And Barbadian singing sensation Rihanna is in the spotlight again and for all the right reasons. She took center stage at the 2013 American Music Awards yesterday when she received the first Icon Award. She also won Favorite Soul R&B Female Artist. If you know me, you know that I love you and that I thank you and I'm grateful. You all play such an important part and, and you're, I'm only as good as my team, so I love you guys so much. Thank you. And police in St. Lucia are looking for a Barbadian man who escaped custody yesterday morning. Lawmen there say Sylvester Augustin was arrested last week for firearm possession and threatening to shoot his girlfriend. But he escaped from the Rodney Bay police station. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. All trade-ins are welcomed. In the region, the Antigua government is being warned against lowering the sales tax threshold. Prominent businesswoman Rosie McMaster says the task force proposal would be a disaster and hurt small businesses. At least 200 new companies could be affected by the proposal. And tens of thousands of protesters have taken to the streets of Thailand for a second day. They're demanding that the Prime Minister step down. Protesters in the capital, Bangkok, forced their way into the Finance Ministry today. And that's our noon update. Join us again at 6 this evening. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb for more news and sports. I'm Don Paris. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold.
sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, it's sunshine.